In this section, we will be learning how to access financial data via web APIs. Uh, a couple quick important things to note before we jump in that, you know, regardless of which data set you choose and which one is right for you and your analytics, just be aware that you probably want to validate the data coming across, whether that be through exporting the data and looking at it or putting in some kind of validity checks to make sure there's no gaps in the information. You'll notice with a lot of financial information that you'll see, depending on the source, where you might be missing some minutes, um, even with the certain securities, there's different gaps that you'll find just due to volume and due to uh, differences in how they pull the data. So just beware. And then also it, it is okay to use multiple data sets to do cross checks, right? So if certain data streams don't have the data you're looking for, it, it is okay to try to look for multiple sources to grab information and then to also validate it uh, utilizing, you know, Alpaca and Y Finance or, or Robinhood to, you know, do some cross checks. So today we will be going through through uh, Alpaca, Y Finance, and Robinhood APIs to learn how to grab data from each of those sources. They each have benefits. Uh, some are easier to pull than others. Some require system logins. Uh, you know, the, the data frequency can vary. So if you're looking for more up-to-date information, you know, one minute intervals might be what your target is. Uh, five minute intervals may be okay, just depending on, you know, if you're a long-term trader, short-term trader. Uh, you also have differences in you know how up to date the information can be. So if you want to get a real time price quote uh, that's not available via Y Finance, but you can get that through different sources utilizing Alpaca and Robinhood. And then also, I think the most important piece is documentation. So as you're going through this, if you uh, want to have your own creative ways to grab and access information. You know, you want to make sure that, you know, the documentation is there to support what you want to do. So a success, successful completion of this section would allow the user to, to uh, confidently access data from Y Finance, Alpaca, and Robinhood. We'll also be learning to change the time period and change, you know, the frequency of that data for each of those calls, and then being able to export that information to a CSV and I'll I'll show you why a CSV I know most are probably wondering why not an Excel format um, and of course you know you can open CSVs in Excel but um, I'll show you why why that is when we get into this section